Tonight about a SWAT team situation that ended up with two people dead at a family gathering in White Bear Township on New Year's Day. Family tells us one of the men who died was a dedicated father and a loving family man. Police haven't said how he and the other man died, but they do say they are not looking for any suspects following reports of shots fired and an active shooter situation yesterday at a home on Centerville Road. Danny Spiewak shows us how friends and family are dealing with the loss. Picture says a thousand words. Larry Klimek was versatile. In his five years at Metro Transit, he operated both trains and buses and had recently started mentoring younger employees. And you know, you just get that vibe from people who, you know, like coming to work, want to contribute, do more, help others. Uh, that was Larry to us. But now his loss will be felt across the Metro Transit system. Family confirms Larry Klimek was one of the men who died in this White Bear Township home where an active shooter was reported. Yeah, I think people are still uh, sort of, you know, wrestling with understanding. Law enforcement isn't saying exactly what happened, but they say they're not looking for any suspects. Family members say Larry and his brother are the two men who died. Larry's ex-wife described him as a devoted father. Larry was a wonderful man. He was very giving. He was always a happy guy. He absolutely loved his children. He was a great family man. He will be greatly missed by all of us. This all unfolded during an annual New Year's Day party with the family. We're told that when the shots fired call went out at 345, some people were able to get out themselves and others had to be evacuated from the home by police. The sheriff's office says nobody else was injured during the SWAT situation. In the meantime, Metro Transit has contacted an employee assistance program to help Larry's co-workers cope with his loss. I'm to make sure that uh, they can have staff available uh, at our facilities, you know, for our employees to make sure that they're able to process things with such an unexpected loss. An unexpected loss with plenty of questions remaining. Danny Spiewak, CARE 11 News. The medical examiner's office will formally identify both of the men and release the cause of death after their investigation is complete. A spokesperson says that information likely won't be available until tomorrow at the earliest.